Hello, Nomad Sculpt and reprojecting such photo textures of faces, um, yes, on a head. And I record this video with version 177, but it should work with 176 also. So here is, yeah, <laughs> this face is crazy. Um, so these are the examples. Okay, and how to do this? So the best thing is I start a new scene. Yes. Here. So. I start with this sphere. You can create your own head. So. Let's create a quick um, something like a head and so. I think it's fine. Okay, we, we have a nice little head. So the technique about this is you need a UV map here. At the moment we have this UV map. Um, it's a primitive UV, but we can delete this and yes, delete and we can unwrap a new UV map. So yes. The next thing is, we need a plane, so we add a, a plane and here is our plane and we can validate this plane and rotate it in the front view, like this. Okay. Then search the internet for a nice picture of a face. Uh, so, yeah, perhaps, yeah, let's try it. I save this image and back to Nomad Sculpt. And this plane has also a UV map and we can place here now a texture on this plane. Here. The, um, the ratio is not um, the correct ratio. Um, you can adjust it here a little bit. You can stretch your image. And you can change your image to additive. Then you can look through the um, uh, yeah, through the image. So let's turn the wireframe off. And here now scale your, your face here. And yeah. So the opacity to see your mesh a little bit better. And the next thing is you can use the drag brush and here you can place your, your eyes and adjust here the, the mouth a little bit and bring everything a little bit in position. You can play a, a little bit with it and so with the opacity slider you can play a little bit, so have fun. Okay, I think it's nice. And for this picture is sometimes um, helpful 
when you change this uh, two-sided off here in the material settings. So, yeah. And now select your face, watch your topology. We need more vertices. Use multi-resolution and subdivide the mesh a few times. We can need about a million or more. The higher the detail, uh, the higher the poly count, the more details of the picture you have. So it's fine. And now we can go to the MISC menu and we, we use the reprojecting here, reproject vertex and select only the color option and then press reproject from high res when your head is selected. Here I turn the outline on, your head is active. So press reproject. So I go a step back and use the cell mask. When you use here your cell mask and um, now no, it's mask, okay. And when you reproject now, so here, yes, your head is So you have your face on the surface. So with a smudge brush here you can smudge the colors a little bit. Now we need more intensity. So and now you can sculpt on this mesh. So use the clay brush here and or the crease here. Sure, move works also. This was not good. And create crazy stuff. So, and here in the color, for example, you can use um, the roughness and paint it, um, the roughness a little bit, and yeah. And you can sculpt with this mesh now. It makes it's a lot of fun, eh? So this is um, yeah the creative way. So the next thing is you can we can delete this whole thing and when you use here such a such a mesh here like this, you can do the same thing here. You add a plane. Where's my plane? So adjust the size. And here place your your texture on the plane. So I think it's the wrong orientation. So like this. Same thing, make it additive. Here adjust it like this, bring the eyes in position. And now you 
can validate the plane and use the drag brush. So I think we can scale it a little bit more and use a little bit bigger eyes. So with a drag brush, symmetry is on. So bring the ears in position, the head a little bit more. Okay, I think it, it fits, so watch your topology, we need more multi-resolution. So one point four million. For the plane, choose two sided off and here you can now reproject. So the face is on the head and you can go a step back again, cell mask. Here lasso the parts you don't want at the moment and then reproject. <coughs> so you get a nice face here. So and with as much smudge tool you can smudge out the, the things you don't like. So here for the nose I, I use um, a black color and I color here So I think it's a nice result for only a few minutes on, on such a head and yeah and then it's again possible to have fun with a mesh. It's a lot of fun with Yes. Enjoy it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.